You guys get it, right? Multiple universes, like Fringe! Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Z and we are about to get into some really nerdy shit. You're a fucking nerd. When it comes to the Nazi zombie storyline, so just try to keep up with me. Now, a long time ago, I made a video about the hidden image that we found in the giant. It was a hypercube. I explained how a hypercube is a fourth dimensional cube, basically a cube from a parallel universe or another dimension. And I was talking about how I believed that this hypercube was going to be very important to our Nazi zombie storyline, but back then we just didn't have the information we needed to put it all together. So the other day, I was bored and me being the nerd I was being I was just looking up documentaries guys that's what I do when I'm bored I just try to learn more shit I'm sorry I'm a nerd that's what I do but so I was looking up documentaries I came across this documentary called Mandela Effect is actually CERN quantum physics now for you guys that don't know what the Mandela Effect is it's basically this theory that a portion of the population actually has memories from alternate universes from alternate timelines memories of ourselves from alternate timeline timeline so a really well-known example of this would be the Star Wars example where where Luke says, well not Luke, Darth Vader says, Luke I am your father. There's a large portion of the population that always thought that the Star Wars movie said Luke I am your father, when in actuality he says no I am your father. Now the really crazy thing is, the voice actor that voiced Darth Vader has come out publicly and said no, the line that I spoke in the movie was Luke I am your father. That said Luke I am your father. So it's really crazy. There are people that remember things differently than they actually happen in the timeline we're in now. There's another example, the Forrest Gump example. It's really well known. A lot of people believe that Forrest Gump said life is like a box of chocolates when in actuality in the movie he says life was like a box of chocolates, which is all fucking crazy. Now there's only one clip ever found where he's actually saying life is like a box of chocolates. My mom always said that life is like a box of chocolates. So it's like, how does this clip exist? Did someone do some sort of crazy good voiceover or something like that? How is it there's only one clip that exists in the world where he says life is like a box of chocolates and everything else he says life was like a box of chocolates. But anyway, that's the Mandela effect. The effect, the theory that people believe or have memories of themselves from parallel universes. But as I was watching this documentary, it actually started talking about CERN. Now CERN is the company that makes all the quantum computers for NASA, Google, things Things like that they make quantum computers so there was this quantum physicist on the stage and he was talking about how these quantum computer works and it's all very scientific I'm not gonna get into that but he said very nonchalantly which blew my fucking mind I thought it was crazy he was like within the next five years we will be able to go into parallel universes to other dimensions and we will be able to pull out resources from these other dimensions and information and things like that from other dimensions and he said it so nonchalantly he was like with these quantum computers this will be possible within the next five years we will have the technology to visit other dimensions how fucking mind-blowing is that so i know right now you're saying what the fuck does all this have to do with the nazi zombie storyline all this conspiracy theory bullshit I'm going to tell you guys exactly how it pertains. So, basically, when we got the Revelations trailer and you see Dr. Maxis was saying, we have to destroy the machine, I believe that he was talking about a version of a quantum computer. They were destroying a quantum computer or some type of machine designed by the quantum computer that would allow them to travel to other dimensions. Now, I've said in the past that Treyarch loves to use real-world situation, real-world facts, technology, things like that, and they take a lot of liberties with them, and they change them to fit the storyline, but they use things from the real world for the storyline. So, I believe that he was actually talking about some sort of quantum computer that Maxis had made. How fucking crazy is that? Not only that, but I believe that the memories that all of our characters have, you know how they can remember things from other lives, from other different things like that. I believe that our characters are actually suffering from the Mandela effect. So that's why I just want to make this video. I want to bring it up because I love making theories like this that pertain to the storyline and how it pertains to our real world lives. And that would be fucking crazy if Treyarch actually took the Mandela effect and the, the quantum computer and all of that and put them into the zombie storyline as an easter egg i don't know like i said i believe that this is how it all fits together and i know it's a lot if you guys want go just google mandela effect or cern or quantum computers or anything like that there are a lot of documentaries out about it there's a lot of fascinating shit you guys can learn and i don't want you guys to think that i'm like some sort of crazy conspiracy theorist or anything like that or i believe any of this i'm just a super fucking open-minded person like you could literally say the sky is orange 
Well, sometimes the sky is orange. Bruh. I don't know. I don't know a good example. <laughs> like, you can literally say, like, I don't fucking know. The color black is actually green. I don't know. And I would be like, okay, well, make an argument. And I would sit there and listen to your argument. Now, that doesn't mean at the end of your argument I'm necessarily going to agree with you. But I'm a very open-minded person. I'll listen to what you have to say. And I'm always willing to listen to theories, conspiracy theorists, and things like that. And so I just thought all this was really fascinating. But... If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about all of this, the Mandela Effect and all this, and how it pertains to our zombie storyline. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'm Z. Bye-bye.